you something to look forward to uh, with a positive energy. And you're just going to step forward. Get out of 2020, start fresh with 2021, for a new look for Oliver Heritage. One hundred issues. That's a lot. It's a lot of typing. It's a lot of time. A lot of dedication. A lot of interviews with some great people. A lot of meeting great people. Seeing a lot of tractors. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't think it'd come this fast. I think everybody measures success a different way. When I started the magazine, I wasn't trying to be successful. It was just something I wanted to do. And I remember I was sitting with my grandma talking about it and uh, weighing all the options. And she said, what are you doing? Just do it. Like, yep, yeah, you're right. If I'm gonna set up my mind to do it, I'm gonna do it. Failure was not an option. So how you measure success is uh, whether it made money, whether it made somebody smile, whether it helped somebody connect with their tractor, whether it brought a family together. Those are the things I measure as success, so. I think in everybody's business that comes a time when they just want to take on a fresh look and we've been doing the same thing for basically 100 issues and it's about time and with a year like 2020 I think everybody's looking for something new, something positive. So we're going to go forward with uh, this new look, give you something to look forward to uh, with a positive energy. And... Along with this rebranding, we're going to take a new look. We're going to try to be more consistent with things. We're going to provide information for everything and every issue, we hope, uh, from the Oliver Chill Pile Works to Hart Car, Clee Track, uh, Oliver into White. We're just going to cover it all. So there will be something for everybody, no matter what you like, in the upcoming issues. I don't know if there's one single thing that I could say is my proudest achievement. I think it's uh, a lot of events that have happened, uh, mainly because of the doors that have been opened. Probably the proudest thing I've done is to speak in front of the Oliver family of 200 over in Scotland, telling them about their family's influence on agriculture in the U.S., uh, taking pictures of the descendants of Oliver for their Christmas card, um, having the magazine sitting on a shelf in a tractor supply store, uh, having some of my artifacts on display in a museum and being able to provide employment for some people who might otherwise have boring jobs. Those are some of my better achievements, I think. <laughs> None of this would have been possible without all the people that have been in the magazines, all the subscribers, all the people that have opened up their sheds for me and let me come in and take pictures, uh, sit down at the kitchen table with them and talk about their history with the Oliver and the equipment. Um, I just, I can't thank you all enough because I couldn't have done it without you.